I feel a lot of the things that you're talking about are like things that generate an emotional response from people that moves the vote and, and moves numbers and, and gets uh, results. Um, but is there anything that you could do, because you're in the public eye so much, uh, while you're on there for about five or ten minutes, whatever it is, in your little spot, that could encourage more um, issue-centered, uh, an ele a more issue-centered electorate, you know, because right now we're so with the you know scandals and and the big events and and, and scaring and, and is there something else that that should be happening? Even though you did make those uh, comments about the, you know the the money and the time constraints of the media and stuff like that, what else could you do no, good, good, good to question. help this? Because that's that's what student votes about, right? Go, go through. I mean, right. Scott, do the pundits do we have a, a, a the responsibility and b the influence? to actually bring a more kind of reasoned debate to, uh, to public life? Well, I think, you know, often, let's just get real about why we're on television. We're on television because we're invited by networks to talk because they think two things. One, we have a level of experience that might be insightful and interesting. And two, uh, we try to be entertaining. And those two things are important to both the positive. Well, and we love um, the sound of our own voices. Well, we do, right? We all think we're fabulously entertaining uh, and spectacular. So do our mothers. <laughs> <laughs> Few others. But, you know, what, what, they, what would happen is if we said, you know, we're going to have a dialogue, Jamie and I, when we leave here, we're going to CBC to record something. And if we said, sorry, we're not going to discuss it from that perspective, we're going to talk about it strictly from an issue perspective, um, you know what? Uh, be last it time. would take about <laughs> five of those outings before it would be like, you were kicked your off. phone isn't ringing. Yeah, it is. So it does feed into the media dynamic. Now, um, I think where we can be helpful within our ambit is sometimes we'll talk about what's going on behind the scenes and how those issues are, 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 are sort of evaluated and managed by parties. And that can take you a little bit more into, into that zone. I'm not saying that we don't have an obligation. I'm not saying we're not part of the problem. Uh, we're talking ads on TV and we're blathering on about the day-by-day -day scorecarding. Um, but and we do spend what? a lot of time on the gotcha stuff and a lot of time a on lot. the horse stuff. A lot. Jamie, point? I, I think the way to solve this problem, because I, I take your point, and, and we should think about it and reflect on if we can do better, but I actually really think the way to solve this problem is for what we do and what you people do to find some common space. Because the way to solve this problem is not in the writ period. The way to solve this yeah. is with people the rest of the time, so that they're ready for the writ period. The way to get this change in election time is to prepare people and help them understand these issues and, and create that awareness in the two, three, four years between that. And I think there's a role for educators and those of us who go on television to find some common space because there. Because parties respond to incentives. <laughs> the incentive is the vote. Last word to Robin Sears. <laughs> The most effective panel, the most watched panel on television is, of course, the one that Alan is, is part of. And I think that environment is better than some of the other ones that we all participate in, in allowing a discussion of stuff. And maybe one of the ways to pick up Jamie's point, which I think is a very sound one, is to make reference on air to something people can do off air. Mm. You know, like, I wouldn't suggest you recommend Shit Harper's Done, perhaps, but um, <laughs> looking at other places that people can do serious thinking and reading about the campaign and the, and the issues might be a good idea. Scott Reed, Jamie Watt, Robin Sears, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.